Hey there folks and welcome back, I guess. Today we're gonna make pesto sausage. And uh, here we have all the ingredients that we're gonna use. We, we got a basil leaf, we got garlic, pine nuts, other things. It's, it's a real party down here. Now I've already taken the liberty of blanching the basil leaves. Ta-da! And then the rest of it's just throwing it in this uh, food processor and mixing it up. Oh, there's one more ingredient. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we'll just finish it up. It looks like goop. Yamahama. All right, let's make some sausage. I have a solution. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh oh! You work for me. Sausage. You know, I've been uh, thinking lately that maybe I should open back up that P.O. box. See what kind of sausage art you people have been working on. My wall is so bare. If only someone out there would send me sausage art. Oh, that's the pesto park water. And dip dop Kalamazoo. Let's sausage. What's a reasonable size, you think? Right there? We'll pinch it right there. And we give it a little twist, and that's all there is. That's that's all the secret to linking these up. Three, four, five, six sausages out of that. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist, this guy! That's amazing! Chicago Bangers was my nickname in high school! This Will It Blow is brought to you by Good Chop! We're entering the summer season, or as I like to call it, the season of sizzles. And what better way to keep your freezer stocked to the gills with meat than with Good Chop? As you know, the outside world frightens and confuses me. So whenever I can get things delivered straight to my door, I do it! That's why I love Good Chop! High quality meats delivered to me! With Good Chop, I get to shop for all my favorite proteins online. And with over 50 products to choose from each week, you'll always find your favorites and even something new. Like their 100% grass-fed ribeyes, free-range and organic chicken breasts and drumsticks, and thick-cut bacon. I'm usually a beefy boy, but lately I've really been enjoying their wild Wild cotton sustainable sockeye salmon fillets. Grilled, smoked, baked, or pan seared. It's always a good choice. Good Chop sources its meat and seafood exclusively from American farms and fisheries. No antibiotics or added hormones ever. Good Chop is so confident you'll love their meat that they even offer 100% money back guarantee. If you don't love Good Chop after your first box, you get your money back. Go to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code SAUSAGE120. Or click the link in the caption below to get $120 off across your first four boxes today. That's goodchop.com slash YouTube. Code Sausage 120 to get $120 off across your first four boxes today. So will it blow? <laughs> I'm okay. I think my brain is bleeding. Well, shucks. It, you know, it really, it really didn't go that far. So I'm gonna have to give that will it blow one Mark Ruffalo's. Hi. Another sausage prediction? All that olive oil we put in these sausages is gonna leak right the heck out. Here we go! Oh no, oh no, oh, things are happening. That's not good. Well, it's been on here for like a minute and it's already bursted two of them. Mama just killed a sausage. Two of them. They're leaking all that oil I said they would. Oh my God, a third burst. Oh, that's an oily boy. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna call it. I, I think, I think they're done. I can't believe it. I just don't believe it. We're never gonna get a hold of that stupid lamp. So these sausages burst like, like, like there's no tomorrow.
But they look tasty. Well, all right then. Here we go! Whoa, that's a lot of garlic. It's a, it's a super spiced up sausage. It's just, it's just the texture's a bit gummy because of all the oil that's still in there. You see that? See all that oil that's just encased inside of the sausage? It's really good though. This, this is a, I'll make this again for home sausage, but I think when I do, I'll, I'll leave out the, the oil. It's okay. It's, 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 it's really good, but the casing's a little gummy, and all that oil is, 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 is pretty gross. So I'm gonna have to give this sausage here a four out of five. Bop, 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 bop. Sausage flow goes to bed like butterflies. Oh, I don't know.